Hello, this is Craig, and this is a tool I downloaded called 3D Coat, and I like it, so I'm going to show it to you. So this is just a 3D sculpting tool, and what I've done is I've gone ahead and sculpted a bust. Uh, now the reason I like 3D sculpting tools a lot, but the reason that I don't use them is because retopologizing them is a pain in the ass, and the reason that you have to retopologize them is because this is a half million triangles, um, which is obviously way too many for a game engine. But you don't actually need that many triangles to represent this character. Uh, it would do just fine at a much lower triangle count, a much lower resolution. And that's where retopologizing comes in. Most tools have very basic retopologizing tools that, uh, you know, they're not actually that much better than just creating the mesh and blender in the first place. So that's what I normally do, create the mesh and blender. But this actually has a, um, a cool auto topology tool, which I'll show you so it's the same mesh and I'm going to aim for 2000 and I'm going to up this to 180 just because so 2000 poly is much much lower I'm actually going to go ahead and make it 3000 is much much lower than half a million um, so how well will it fare reducing that down well first things first we've got to paint the face and head the 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 helmet that I made just so that I have a different uh, detail level Got to paint all of this stuff with the with the mark for uh, for the high resolution here. Uh, this means that the poly count in this area will be much higher than the poly count on the rest of the body. I'm also going to go ahead and paint the uh, the various areas that tend to uh, come on shrink that tend to go awry. So here, uh, like this, and uh, perhaps the underarm and. I guess I don't need to, to do that part. Uh, well, the problem is that I set it to 4. Let's go ahead and set it to 2 and do that again. Um, just because last time I tried this, uh, it ended up not being... Because I didn't model very carefully down there, it ended up not being suitable for, for animation. So we've just painted it, and now the next step is to paint on uh, guides. We don't actually have to do this, but it helps our uh, topology tool uh, think. It helps it to figure out what to do. So um, we'll go ahead and give it some guidelines like this. Just easy stuff. Um, now, you know, as habit dictates, you go to the face. Uh, the controls are different from Blender, the camera controls, so I'm not used to them yet. Um, but the face, you know, you give it you give it the various loops that you'd normally put on a face just for old time's sake, and that is not going to help. That that there we are. There, that ought to do it. And then we will just hit next and see what it comes out as. Um, now, since it's reducing from uh, five hundred thousand triangles down to three thousand, this will take a few moments. Now I did cheat and try this beforehand, so I know that it will come up with a vaguely feasible model here. Um, so that's the problem with these uh, voxel voxel sculpting tools, is that you can't actually put that shit in a game. And the amount of effort required to make it a low-poly model is roughly the same as modeling it as a low-poly model in the first place. So if this works, it's a real, real... Uh, useful tool, especially if you're modeling things that you're not used to modeling with box modeling. So, for example, if I was modeling a, a giant spider or something. So, as you can see, what we've come up with is a perfectly reasonable medium poly mesh. Um, and I still, I have my doubts about how it handles this particular uh, crotch, but that's just, I didn't take any real time in modeling it, and uh, I can fix it up in Blender. There's also a couple of things where I would seriously question their choices, um, but those are things that can be repaired in Blender. They're just one or two points. And in fact, you could repair them here. Uh, there's actually tools for for you know, grabbing this stuff and moving it around, but I don't know how to use them because I've only had this tool for like two or three hours. So as you can see, the loops that I p told it to put into the face are largely there. They require some cleanup, but all in all, this is uh, really quite a useful tool, and uh, I thought I would show it off.